Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. I want to talk about five brands that I want to try in 2021 and a few that I want to leave behind in 2020. And I've already like kind of broke this, but we're just, we're setting a precedent now in, at like the tail end of January that these are brands that I kind of want to like avoid my gaze and avoid spending money on. And then a few that I wouldn't mind bringing some of their products into my collection. So I thought that that would just be a slightly interesting, I guess. Maybe if someone cares about my opinion, if not, no hard feelings. Um, I'm going to start with the positive and then we're going to just like tail off and end, I guess not end on a negative note, but just kind of end with the less positive, I guess. The first brand, and this is in no particular order because all of these brands kind of interest me. It's just, I have never actually used them. So the first one, and a lot of these are more indie brands in smaller businesses than there's just a couple of like bigger businesses. So the first one is Glam Light and they are well known for their food theme palettes. I will just, I'll have a couple posted up there. Um, they're well known for their like food theme palettes, the, the cake palette, the ice cream palette. I think they got their start with like the pizza palette and they've done like a taco and stuff like that. I think that they just have, first of all, the packaging is a little bit like too much <laughs> for me. Uh, just some of the packaging, it's like the very big, palettes and I've been trying to stop myself from depotting all of my larger palettes like my two large Juvia's Place ones I've been like itching to um depot but I've been like trying to like rein it back so the palettes I think are just a little bit bigger than what I am interested in and they're a little bit more kitschy than what I feel like I'm drawn towards but I wish they had like and I don't know maybe I they have and I'm just oblivious to it singles from the collection I wish they had a little bit more singles but I definitely am eyeing that ice cream palette I think it's just so cute do I need pastels no because I have a couple past like I have a pastel or two palette in my collection um but the ice cream palette is just so cute it's just so cute so it definitely caught my eye um then the next brand I, I would really like to try is Terra Moon Cosmetics and they have just such interesting shifty shades, like such multi duo chrome goodness. And I'm not someone that's super into like the duo chrome shades. I feel like I am a minority in that aspect, but some of those duo chromey shades just tend to have a very deep dark base to them where that's not really like my vibe, my jam. I really like more of those like iridescent -y kind of like shifty shades, um, which isn't, I mean, they're all beautiful in their own capacity. I just have a hard time with the darker ones. But I think Terra Moon just has a lot of really interesting shades, and I would love to try some of those products. On the same vein of incredibly beautiful shifty shadows, Cleona Cosmetics. I think that those are just such beautiful shades. The website overwhelms me, I'm not going to lie. That and Davina Cosmetics, another brand that I would love to try, that I... The, the websites are just very overwhelming. I don't even know where to start with them. I look at them and I, I'm like, where? I don't even know where to begin. Um, it's just a very overwhelming web. Those websites are very overwhelming in my opinion. Um, plus they're notoriously sold out because they're so sought after. So it's just, I have to be like right place, right time. I haven't been there yet. <laughs> um, and the last indie brand I would love to try is Color Drain. I feel like they have been coming out with such beautiful eyeshadows and just beautiful products. They're just cult favorites among the indie beauty community, I guess. I just heard such good things about Color Drain and I would really love to try it. Um, I guess I, I have a few more that I'm like, now I'm just like remembering. Menagerie Cosmetics is another one that I would really love to try. Um, just some of those palettes are so beautiful and I like built myself like a little palette. Everything was sold out so it didn't matter but I've been like just eyeballing the shadows like here and there um, as I've been like seeing them. Um, there was one more. I just thought of it and it's gone. 
Lethal, Lethal Cosmetics. Lethal Cosmetics is also, I feel like they have more of those matte, beautiful, like grungy matte shadows. I would really love to try my hand at their formula and just see how I like it compared to some other formulas. Um, I just haven't been able to bite the bullet yet. And then a couple like mainstream brands that I would love to try, Milani. I've actually never tried anything from Milani before, like nothing. I have no idea, no, like nothing. I have no pre-decided thoughts about Milani. I just, I've seen people love them and I would love to give it a try. Um, and then Flower, Flower Beauty, I think, I've heard really good things about the brand in some of their products, and I would really love to try some of their products out. And I love that they're two drugstore options and not like these ridiculously high price tag um, luxury or like higher end brands. I like that I'm trying to like stick it to like the drugstore, especially I used to be so big on like, I don't want any drugstore makeup. And now I'm just like, let me find all of these hidden gems at the drugstore. This is like a new game. Like it's so much fun to find great products at an affordable price. Like who did 20 year old Laura think she was being bad and bougie wanting all of the high end makeup? Like stay in your lane, sis. Then I have three brands that I want to leave behind in 2020. Um, and I think we're a little bit too late to say behind in 2020. We're just leaving them behind. We're like ending, like January is here. You got to get off sis. Um, the first brand is ABH or Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just kind of, they've just, been so underwhelming to me it's just like the past year it's just been a year of like they put out the same crap every year at christmas now i will say i did the reason i say like i've already kind of broken my tie or like broken this saying this is because i did recently purchase at marshall's uh, a set of five loose glitters and a glitter adhesive so i did technically break this thought already but here on out we are just we're really gonna steer clear of ABH and that's just we're just no more the next brand that I'm just kind of wanting to steer clear of and that's Colourpop I just they release so much so quick you can't even catch your breath when looking at the brand it's like one thing another thing another thing another thing it's just kind of ridiculous I first dabbled in getting a couple of their products last year, but other than that, I had really not tried anything from ColourPop that I really liked other than like the lipsticks. I had tried the Super Shock highlighters and it wasn't my thing. I know people rave about them, totally not my thing and that's that's fine. Um, I am kind of just over them, like regurgitating the same palettes over and over and over and over again. Every release they've done, all of those like cactus theme palettes all look the same and now they're they launched I think the Animal Crossing like teasers and that was a little different and then they like relaunched more of the same just brown neutral palettes with brown neutrals and that's it and it's just so boring like get it together and one stop being so like quick to try to like shove things down our throats and put some more thought into what you're releasing. It's just, it's lazy. It's lazy. You're lazy. And then the last one breaks my heart because I have loved this brand so much. They have some of my favorite products, but that's, that's Becca. And I just, it's time. It's time. I think that they've kind of gone down the same road as ABH where they're just kind of making boring releases. They're just, they're just, it's boring. It's boring and they, there's like some weirdness with the brand that I just don't want to support them with my dollars anymore. I will continue to use the products I have. I just will not be spending more money on their products. I, I don't have that much from Becca. I have a couple highlighters. I have the primer and then a lip gloss or a lip balm. And that's it. And I'm not looking to explore any more avenues of Becca. I hope that that like concisely boxed in my like couple brands that I didn't, I don't want to support and bring into this new year in 2021. But we, we have a lot of brands that I want to try and a lot of brands that I think deserve love. Um, I'm, 
by no means in the market to buy any more makeup because I, if you saw my makeup inventory, I will link it up above, but we have too much. <laughs> we have too many things right now and I need to work my way through some of these products before I can even start justifying bringing anything else into my collection. But I'm, I'm pretty happy that there is a lot of indie on my radar and a, a few drugstore on my radar. We're not we're really trying to stay away from like those luxury and like higher end brands this year. Um, save some money, you know, just save some money. And if I can try to just pan more of my makeup this year, that's going to even be more beneficial to my wallet. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what brands you are interested in. Let me know what brands you're saying like buy, buy sis to. Um, I would love to know which brands you don't want to support anymore. I would love to know which brands you do want to support. If you have any recommendations on brands or products that are from these brands that I've mentioned or brands that I haven't even heard of or don't even know about, let me know in the comments down below. And until my next video, I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane, and safe, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.